Yeah, I had to slot up in Williamsburg right quick to go to one of my favorite spots that I'm about to take y'all to. That's on the next level of vegan and vegetarian stuff, you heard? I'm in the Berg. I'll be right back. So I'm in Williamsburg, you heard LAZ, the fat vegetarian. Know what I mean? Trying not to get a ticket out here. I see some tickets on dudes' cars already too, so I ain't slipping, you heard? But I'm out here in the Berg to go to one of my favorite joints. I think this joint was voted uh, best, uh, is a vegan spot. I think they was voted best vegan or vegetarian spot in the whole country, definitely in New York, but I think they was voted the best in the whole country. The type of stuff they got in here by Chloe, it's witchcraft, you heard? The type of stuff they sell, their menu is so crazy, you won't believe that the stuff that they sell is vegan and vegetarian, you understand what I'm saying? It's unbelievable. Their food game is unbelievable, you heard? And the stupid thing is, I don't wanna, I don't wanna play games with y'all. Their whole menu is bananas. But when I come here, I get the same thing every time, bro. You ever had something so good at a restaurant that you just can't stop getting the same exact thing and you'll never get a chance to try new stuff? That's me with this spot, man. But I'm about to show y'all right now, you heard? I'm running up in there with the Rikers mask. I'm wilding, you heard? I'm not trying to get no ticket, man. My car's there. I got to be on point, bro. I don't trust these dudes. They got, they got and you and all of that like this stuff? I never knew that. How you doing? Um, can I just order a, a spinach artichoke dip and um, an avocado toast? Brian? Y'all don't take y'all don't take no cash. Come on, y'all too futuristic, bro. Y'all OD. Y'all OD. So now I gotta make sure I got that bread on my car, but I can't play around with my car out here. I'm in there wondering why the chick, the, the, the chick got a little attitude a little bit. It's cause I got this Rikers mask on. You heard? I'm like, yes, man, I have the vegan artichoke dip. Got the big stupid Rikers Island mask on. She like, yo, this dude bugging out. It's a pretty tight fit there, buddy. You got the big wild UPS. I got the special UPS trucks in Williamsburg. This joint. This joint is wow. Yes, there is some thug vegans and vegetarians, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry to disappoint you. And I've been doing a vegetarian thing, but before the Netflix documentaries and before it became the cool thing to do, I was doing it, so. And that's a fact. Traffic cops got me so nervous. I saw a dude with a construction vest on, I almost ran. Almost ran down the block. You can't trust these traffic dudes. You be going for 30 seconds, you heard? Come back, it'd be a wrap. $150 on your joint. You'd be mad at the world. I ain't trying to get a $150 meal. You heard? I'm a thug vegetarian. I don't know if this is my order. I think it is. Yes, it is. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes it is. My name is not Ryan. And she wouldn't even she wouldn't even give me the she wouldn't even give me the pleasure of being seen when I came to pick up my order because she's mad at the Rikers mask, you heard? I know better. And she's mad I didn't give her a tip. Bro, I'm not tipping for takeout. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. You understand what I'm saying? I'll tip. I'm eating at a spot, I'm tipping and I'm tipping right. I'm representing my black people and I'm tipping right. But where I draw the line is tipping for takeout. I'm not doing that, my nigga. 
I'm sorry. And then if I do tip, it's going to be $2, $3, and I don't want to look cheap like that, so I might as well just not tip at all. But the tipping for takeout thing, I'm Gucci, bro. Spending money at your shit. Be happy. Yeah, the whole vibe, her whole vibe, though, I'm going to keep it real with you. Her whole vibe was a little little racist. Like, you know how sometimes you go to a, ra a restaurant and you just be feeling like they feel like they too good to serve you? Like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I didn't, I don't, like, I go in restaurants, I, I be peeping, like, certain people get a good warm reception, and then I come up in there, it's like, I gotta serve this dude, like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta serve me, bro. Go get my message to the chick that works in there. I was a vegetarian when you was combing my little pony doll's hair, you heard? When you was combing uh Twilight Sparkle's hair, when the My Little Pony dolls had the big faces, when you was playing with Pinkie Pie and all of that, I was already a vegetarian, bro. So, you know what I mean? Step your service game up by Chloe. This is why y'all filing for bankruptcy and all of that, trying to stay alive. I know it's a rough time, but if you want to stop having a rough time, you better start being a little bit more pleasant to your to your ghetto and hood customers, bro. Because I'm sure if I, was a, if I was a little petite Asian woman or something, it will be all smiles ear to ear. But when there's a thug with the Rikers mask, it's like, I don't even want to serve this guy. Bro, I just had my bag there waiting. Bro, I just had my bag there waiting while she got lost in the back. Like, now let me stop fucking. Let me stop. She could have been back there getting another order together. Let me stop assuming. You know, my race card, my race card is platinum, baby. I'm going to keep it real with you. My race card don't got no limits. You heard? I'll pull that. I'll pull it out anywhere, anytime. You play with me. You heard? You give me any type of racial vibes, I'm straight pulling the card out. Bong! Race card. Is it because I'm black? Or appear to be a non-white person? Is it because I'm a non-white person that I'm getting this treatment, guy? Let me know, because my black card... I got an 850 credit score with my black card, bro. Don't play with me, you heard? I'm just beating in the NASCAR. 7 to 30, man, I might crash you. I'm going to keep it real with you. I love Triumph motorcycles more than any motorcycle. When I finally do get a motorcycle, I'm getting a Triumph, bruh. I'm going to keep it real. They joints is different. They joints hit different. You heard? Them Triumphs? Fire. I needs one of those. You heard? Them new Harleys is bananas, too. Them new Harleys is bananas, too. The new style Harleys? Bananas. But, um... Them triumphs? Them triumphs be looking crazy. Down here on Gentrified Kent. Going over to Gentrified Greenpoint. The most gentrified. If y'all watch my video, Starve the Ghetto, listen. All of that stuff you see me by, that's behind me in Starve the Ghetto, that I'm, them abandoned buildings, all of that stuff that was behind me, none of that exists anymore. You heard? All of that is high-end real estate now. You won't even recognize this area. I'm about to come out with my spin-off food series, Gentrified. Where I show y'all the difference between the delicious gourmet foods in the gentrified areas of New York compared to the greasy, salty foods of the ghetto. Woo! I got something for y'all coming soon, yerk. I need a bag for that show, man. Can't be just giving out these free shows. I got some wild show ideas. I got wild show ideas. Hey, mom, can we get 12 PlayStations today? Sure, Billy. <laughs> it's a nice little bag by Chloe. Cute little bag, you heard. Air baked fries and things of that nature. All right, it's time for the unboxing. You heard? This is the avocado toast. Now, they change this up like every month. Every month is a different. Or every season. I don't know how they, I don't know if they do it every month or every season. But every month or every season is a different flavor avocado toast. Like sometimes it might have snow peas and bulb onions. Sometimes it might have uh shaved Brussels sprouts on it. So I forgot what this one is, but I take all of them parts. But it's like, yo, this is the avocado toast. You heard? Let me put some light on this for y'all so you get the full effect. This is the avocado toast. I forgot what it is. I forgot what's what, what's on it this time, but it's vegetarian. It's vegan. They're all vegan. D 
Leash Shows. You heard? This is exoticness, bruh. By Chloe. I would eat this food outside, but it is blistering, bleeding brick outside. For real, for real. So, I'm in the whip, baby. I don't even know what these are. Leave a comment if you know what these are. They're delicious, though. Avocado. Got some yellow peppers going on there. Some squash. Some red peppers. I see some, like, cut up, uh... I think that's cut up, cut up parsley. Some parsley. Some good exotic bread. Hmm. Take a bite of that avocado toast. Mm -hmm. Avocado toast, baby. Oh God. Oh God. Look at that. Look at the greens on that bread. That bread don't got greens like that. I don't know how exotic it really is. You heard? That's a fact. Let's just get a bite of this dog. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Just because I'm not a full vegan doesn't mean I don't love vegan food. I love vegan food. I just still eat cheese. Eventually, I'm going to stop messing with cheese completely. Real talk. I don't like to I don't like to get too crazy with the eating on camera. Like some some dudes out there be doing that mukbang. They be ODing, like, busting all type of lop, giant lobsters and crabs, and that's a little bit too much for me. I could take a few bites of some healthy things and all of that, but I can't be busting crabs and all of that. I ain't built for all of that. I'm, I don't eat crabs anyway, but I'm just saying. When I step my life up and I start getting some bread to do this the correct way, this whole show gonna be filmed in 8K. Real talk. Never mind 4K. I'ma film it in 8K so you can see the, the pores of the food for a fact. Gotta get my money up first to do all of that though, cause that 8K be taking up so much space, bro. You ain't gonna be able to do that with a phone. You're gonna have to get you're gonna have to get a you're gonna have to get a compact, high powered camera with a hell of a memory card. You heard? <coughs> Avocado toast was delicious. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you though. It ain't better than the one with the. It ain't better than the one with the shaved Brussels sprouts, and it ain't better than the one with the snow peas and and, and bulb onions. But that was delicious. But it's not better than the than the shaved Brussels sprouts one. That one is on the next plane. There's another spot that makes some delicious avocado toast right there on um second avenue train station you come out it's that little park right there it's like a little uh restaurant that's in the middle of the park i don't know if it's still open i think it's still open they sell coffee and stuff like that but they got some wild avocado toast in that spot too you heard delicious let's get to the real reason why i came here let the unboxing begin going on in here let's see what's going on up in here listen listen to what i'm telling you i drive across the city to come and get this right here you heard this is kale and artichoke vegan kale and artichoke dip oh my god real talk bruh this is the greatest dip ever. You heard? Bruh, this is almond Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese that's made from almond. You heard? This is the greatest dip I've ever had in my life that tastes better than regular dairy dip. Can't compare to this. You could come try this yourself. You could be the biggest dairy eater in the world. You come and try this kale and artichoke dip with this almond parmesan cheese sprinkled on top i guarantee you you would never want another dip you would never you would never think another dip compares to this ever again and that's a fact chips they give these are official gluten-free everything you heard if i'm not mistaken these is gluten-free i don't know i don't know if these are gluten-free but these is everything is plant-based 
Everything is fried right. These chips are right. But yeah, you scoop this on up. You scoop this on up. Mm. This almond, bruh, this almond Parmesan cheese is next level, bruh. It's next level, you heard? Mm. Kale and artichoke, all vegan. Oh my God. Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. All vegan, baby. Artichoke is one of my favorite foods. When my when my, my baby mother was pregnant with my last my, my, my newest child, my son, when my baby mom was pregnant with my son, literally for the whole nine months, I didn't eat anything but artichoke sandwiches. That's all I had a taste for. Grilled artichoke, artichoke salad. Read up on artichoke. It's one of the greatest foods you could put into your body. But artichoke, delicious. Delicious. Go vegetarian, my bro. Go vegetarian. You hear me? Go vegetarian, my brother. Just get it over with. Get it over with. You heard? Go vegan. Get it over with. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's nice and warm. Like, it's not cold dip. This is warm. Almond Parmesan cheese. Delicious. You know they say if you eat five almonds a day, you'll never get sick from anything. A wise man once said that. If you eat five almonds a day, you'll never get sick. I don't keep it up, but I need to. But we should all make a pact to do that. Eat five almonds a day. You heard? Unless you have nut allergies. Pause. But yeah, man. Bye, Chloe. I don't ever give the other stuff on the menu a try. Like, my baby moms gets other things off their menu. But once I tasted this dip, I don't, I don't really buy nothing else but this. Like, But I heard they got all type of wild stuff. So I'm going to start trying some stuff. This is an appetizer. Both of these is a, I don't know if the toast is an appetizer. It might just be like, I don't know. But this is an appetizer. So both, all of this together, the artichoke dip and the, um, and the, um, avocado toast with the chips it was $18 it's not bad at all their prices are not that crazy their prices are not that crazy but if you're going to go there with your girl or something to eat be ready to spend $50 for both of y'all to be happy you heard? delicious man delicious vegetarian stuff you're gonna finish the whole you're gonna dust the whole thing off by yourself trust me you're not gonna be able to stop dipping these chips up in that you heard there's some in manhattan i ain't go to the ones in manhattan because i ain't gonna be able to park my car nowhere but um not too better in williamsburg but it's not as bad as manhattan but um yeah man bye chloe check them out get out They official, you heard? What I'm doing with this show is breaking the myths of vegetarianism for people who think we don't eat nothing but twigs and leaves. We eat right. Here's the proof. Here's the proof right here, bro. Spinach artichoke dip. You better get you some of this. You heard? You better get you some of this right here, boy. Beverly Road, Beverly Hill Billies. It's Bev time, baby. Like we always do around this time. Today, I've been eating a little bit of, uh, I've been eating, I've been eating food with a little bit of salt in it lately. So it's time for my weekly day, whole day of alkaline water, bruh. When you know you eating salt, it's time to flush. You can't, I know it's unrealistic to say you're gonna drink alkaline water each and every day, but at least a day out of that week, you gotta just get you a big, but it's a small bottle. 
get you the big bottle of Essentia like this or Fiji, guzz it. You heard? So this like when I be when I feel bad when I'm giving my kids like chips and stuff like that, I just slide them my alkaline water to the head like yo hold that, put it in my in my my son bottle, all of that. Drink that alkaline water, bro. Get that salt out your system. You get that pH balance correct. You really supposed to wait up to an hour to after you eat before you drink water because the digestive system doesn't appreciate when you pour a bunch of water on top of some food that it's trying to digest. You heard? That's why in the Bible it says, that's why in the Bible it says, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. The science behind the sheep lying down in green pastures is after the sheep graze, they're thirsty and they want to drink. But the, the, the sheep herder knows, the shepherd knows that if he gives the sheep water right after they eat, they're going to have diarrhea and they're going to be sick and it's going to be a big, terrible situation. So he takes them to the green pastures where it's cool and not burning hot, where they could lay down in the cool grass until their food begins to digest. And then in an hour or so, he could take them to drink. So the science behind the science behind that Bible verse is deep. So it's like the things that you want right then and there is not always what you should have right then and there. Sometimes you got to go lie down in the green pastures and cool off until your digestive system is ready. Same thing with everything in life, bro. But well, let me stop being last the philosopher while we trying to eat food and stuff like that. Deep food. That's my next show. Deep food. We just drop jewels with the food now, but that's that's dope though, right? Real funny, guys. Real fucking funny. Beautiful indigenous artwork. Too bad there's no indigenous people that can afford to live here anymore. Driving foreign cars, baby. I'm introduced to the stars, baby. We are, baby. I thought Jay Z has fallen off before, and then he came back and had some next level. I think his shit fall there. off still be one of the best ten albums of the year come out. So I don't ever see really him fall off. Like I'm saying, is there gonna be Hard Not Life Volume Two again? Is there gonna be a blue, a, a legitimate blueprint again? Yeah, I don't think so, but. You know, oh, no, Quincy, bro, Quincy like, as Jones far as he might have that one fifty-year-old album. Yeah, as far as albums is concerned, my nigga, like, so that's kind of like, irrelevant now, ain't it? Listen, yeah, I, I can't, I cannot tell you the last time I listened to an album because hip hop that went so far left now. It's like I don't see too many niggas that I could sit down and say I want to hear what this nigga got to say for fourteen songs in a row. It's hard, my nigga. Yeah, I mean, because like, you know, I'm a smart motherfucker. So if you can't educate me with your bars or you can't teach me something or you can't because make no mistake about it, my nigga. Rap is about game. It's about who could spit the best game. You understand what I'm saying? But what makes a rapper nice is his level of game that he spits. You understand what I'm saying? If a nigga can't teach you no game, he's not a dope rapper. Rapper, you listen to you be like if I listen to a nigga like Richie Rich, Pac Man from Oakland. If I listen yeah. to Richie Rich, Richie Rich is saying shit that's making me say I gotta step my motherfucking game up out here. If I listen to E Forty, I feel the same way. Pop, Nas, Jay, them niggas is giving niggas game. But some of these niggas, you really ain't got nothing to talk about because you either too young and too inexperienced. You ain't never really did nothing or been nowhere compared to with nigga like me. So it's hard for me to sit down and say, I'm going to listen to what this nigga got to say for 13, 14 songs. That's difficult, my nigga. Prodigy, I could listen and hear, hear what he got to say. Nas, Jay, I could listen to these niggas because I know they know more than me. You feel what I'm saying? But some of these other rappers, like, I could listen to your single, but I can't, I can't lock into your album, my nigga, because you can't educate me. I can educate you, even though you may have a million dollars. You're a lucky motherfucker. You're still stupid to me.